everybody, Aaron here. We got another one for you. This is Oasis. Don't look back in anger. Let's jump right in. All right, exciting news recently as Oasis said they are going to have a reunion tour and tickets sold out almost immediately. So if you're trying to get them, best of luck to you. Uh, we're going to take a look at this song. This is uh, Ultimate Guitar. I've got a link in the description. So go ahead and click on that so you're looking at the same chords as I am. Now you might notice at the top of this chart, there's an interesting uh, note, a disclaimer, and it says to play this song correctly, you have to actually retune your piano. So if you use a keyboard like I do, that's relatively easy to do. If you use an acoustic piano, playing it in the key of C that you see on the chart will get you close enough. But let me show you how I adjusted the tuning of my piano. All right, so your keyboard, if you're on an electric keyboard, it may give you the option to adjust the tuning on your keyboard. And as I mentioned for this song, you need to change it in order for it to sound like the recording, which I think is pretty cool. It gives it a unique sound. Uh, mine, my, pian my keyboard, I push this function button and it brings up this option, tune A1, likely 440, that's the standard, that's what you're gonna have, okay? So if I push that button, I click it again, it starts flashing, and then I adjust the value knob, and I can actually turn mine up at where you want it to go is 455. Okay, push the button again, that sets it in place. Now that's gonna have me tuned to where uh, my keyboard is at a slightly different frequency. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's going to work well for this song to make it sound like the actual recording. Don't forget, though, when you're done to go back, because otherwise you're going to be playing and going, why does my piano sound out of tune? You're going to have to go back in here and adjust the uh, function back down when you're done with this song to 440 so that it sounds normal. Okay, but that's how, at least on my keyboard, yours might have a similar option. You can play around in the settings and see if it allows you to adjust the tuning of your keyboard. All right, if you're able to do that, great. If not, just play it in the key of C. Uh, but let's take a look now at the chords of this song. All right, very cool, simple chords, easy progression, a lot of chords, but none of them are too challenging. So I mentioned earlier, this is middle C. Here are the chords we're gonna find. First, we're gonna play a C chord. Uh, we'll play it in two different ways. One here, E, G, and C. This is called a first inversion, C at the top. It's actually what makes it the C uh, first inversion is the E at the bottom, technically, okay? But there you go, C, but we'll also play it here sometimes, okay? G, C, E, it's just different arrangements. Those are called inversions of the chord. We're gonna play a G chord right here, G, B, and D. We'll play an A minor chord, A, C, E, and E7. The E will be in our bass, so we're gonna do G sharp, B, and D. There will be one point when we're playing it over G sharp and we'll put our pinky there on the E. So that's our E7, okay? An F chord, we're gonna play in two different ways throughout the song. Once is here, A, C, F. Another time we'll play it down here, F, A, C. Again, just different arrangements of the same chord. And then in the pre-chorus, we're gonna get a cool chord. It'll go from F, A, C, F, to what's called F, minor six okay so minor this is f minor here we slide the third down to a flat a flat c and f but in order to get the six we're going to you can actually substitute the uh, five and the six or you could play them both together depending on what sound you like better so this is the five is c and the d is six i'll do it this way just to keep it simple so a flat d F. And that's kind of a chord, a unique chord that gets featured throughout this song, okay? That's F minor 6, all right? So those are the right hand chords that you're going to do throughout the song. In the left hand, you're simply going to play the name of the chord, okay? So here I am two octaves below middle C with my left hand on C when I play the C chord. When I go to a G chord, I'll jump up here and I'll play the, the G and the bass, A minor, I mentioned earlier that when you play this chord, you're going to have the E in the bass. So there's the E and an F chord here, F minor, uh, F minor six here with the F in the bass. Okay, so basically nothing real tricky in the left hand. You're just playing the name of the chord in the left hand as you play the chord in your right hand. All right, now let's take a look at the rhythm that you can use throughout this song. 
So if you want complexity uh, levels, the simplest is just going to be play and hold the chord, okay? And most of the time the chords are held kind of for two beats, okay? Step, step inside the eye of your mind, two, don't you know that you might find one, two, a better place to play, two, and then that A minor in the verse it changes one after the other. I'll go through the parts of the song in a minute, but just so you know the rhythm, you could do it real simple that way and just hold the chord. Uh, if you want to be a little bit more complex, play the quarter note as the chord in your right hand with the half note down here like this. That's a pretty cool easy way to get through the chords uh, with a rhythm that's real simple. And then one last little thing you can do to make it even cooler is you're going to play the, the bass note again on the and of two. So just before you move to the next chord. So that's the simple rhythms, different levels of complexity from simple to more complicated. All right now let's look at the unique parts of the song. All right, for the intro, we're going to use this C chord here with a C in our bass. And you can see those bar lines on the chart. That's telling you you're holding each chord for four beats. So we're going to go four beats on C, four beats on F, four beats on C, four beats on F. Okay, and we're going to do it down here, this C and this F, and it just sounds like this. And then that takes us now into verse one. Verse one, I'm gonna shift my hand up and play this chord, okay? I feel like it just rests better with the voice, okay? So you're down here, and you're basically doing the rhythms that I showed you earlier as you work through the chords. Slip inside the eye of your mind Don't you know you might find A better place to play You said that you'd never been But all the things that you've seen Slowly fade away Notice the A minor and the G you just hit the chords there like together with both hands on the beat. Okay, and then that takes you into the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus, we're gonna be up here with this F, and the F in our bass, and then we're gonna be moving from that F to the F minor six, okay, to the C. So, so start a revolution from my bed. You said the brains I had went to my head. Step outside, summertime, sharp here with your full E chord because you do not have the E down here. So we got this G sharp here with the E in the right hand. Take that look from off your face. You ain't never gonna burn my heart out. Notice two beats on those chords there. And then four beats here on the F. Heart out. And then you go to the G and you do it for two measures it out for a total of eight beats and then that takes you into the chorus. So here's our chord to start the chorus and we're basically doing two beats on each chord again. And so Sally can wait, she knows it's too late as we're walking on by. Hit the A minor and G, her soul of this first chorus you're going to just play the chords of the chorus again just straight through and then hits on the a minor g takes you into verse two take me from the place where you go okay so then that takes you right into verse two after verse two back into the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus is exactly the same. And then from there, it takes you into the second chorus. The second chorus has a different ending. So let's take a look at that. All right, so the second chorus I mentioned has a different ending and we're gonna go. Don't look back in anger. I heard you 
what you say, and you're going to do the A minor G thing, and then it's going to take you into a solo, and the solo is essentially over the pre-chorus, but you're doing F, F minor 6 to C, and you do that three times. Come back in on this. So Sally can wait. Okay, that's the final chorus, which has a different ending there too. So let's take a look at the final chorus ending. Okay, so as you end the second chorus, or the last chorus, the final chorus, you're going to do it two times in a row. You're going to sing the chorus two times in a row. And then when you get to the end, it's going to kind of die off. And let me show you how that works. Okay, so it's my soul slides away. But don't look back in anger, don't look back in anger. And actually holds it for a whole measure here, four beats, and then I heard you say. Okay, so right there you're basically, you're hitting that F chord, you're letting it ring out, and then you're singing. Actually, even earlier than that, when you hit the A minor, normally you would go A minor to G. You're not going to do the A minor to G, you're just going to hold the A minor and then sing, but don't look back in anger, and let it ring out for four, don't look back in anger, F minor six, you're going to actually let it ring out for two full measures, eight full beats, I heard you say, and then you're going to play through the chord progression again, and when you get to the F seven, or the F, you're going to go F minor, at least not today, so F minor six, ring out, to the C, which is your final chord that ends the song. All right, so that's the song. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Excited to see Oasis have a comeback. Hope you enjoy it to all the Oasis fans out there. Thank you for tuning in. Take a moment, check out my book, a piano chord book you can actually use, available on Amazon for your purchase. It will help you learn how to play the piano. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time.